Vancouver Island is a microcosm of mainland British Columbia. Urbanized in the south, wild in the west and north, and, well, mainly rural in the spaces between. Hello, I'm Malcolm Stewart. In this episode of BC Moments from Knowledge Network, we'll see the varied faces of Vancouver Island, from sedentary graveyards and heritage neighborhoods in Victoria to the unbridled fury of the open Pacific. First off, though, a dab of culture at Campbell River. If you really want to know what my paintings are about, said Arthur Villeneuve, you have to go inside them, get lost in them. Each year, at the end of May, viewers not only learn what paintings are about, they get to know the painters as well. They travel to Painter's Lodge near Campbell River, 270 kilometers northwest of Victoria, for a gathering of British Columbia artists called Painters at Painters, the creation of the Oak Bay Marine Group's president, Bob Wright. So I thought it's about time somebody just wanted to, you know, set up a deal where they could say thank you to the artists, bringing them up to get together and allowing the public to come in, and as we say, and we still say today, is to brush with the masters. Here at Painter's Lodge, overlooking Discovery Passage, the annual event is as special for the artists as for the viewers. As artists, we tend to be in our studios a lot, and we don't get to see a lot of people, or other artists for that matter. So coming up here, we get to see our peers, and the public is just fantastic. I mean, they really appreciate us. For me, it's an opportunity to get together with my colleagues in a relaxed, informal setting with wonderful food and talk about ideas and life's progress. I think the best thing is to meet the other artists, to actually see them and to see them year after year, to see how they are evolving in the, in the work that they are producing. That's, that's really the exciting part. Painters at Painters is now a great success for both the public and the artists who attend. But founder Bob Wright had serious doubts when he hosted the first event's opening social. Nobody talked to each other. I mean, it was like you could hear a pin drop. And I thought, well, we've really blown this. They're not very happy. And as the evening went on and they started talking to each other, I realized what the problem was. They knew each other's work. But because they were isolated in their own studios, they never knew each other. And I heard snippets of conversation. Oh, I love your work. Oh, you're so-and-so. We've never met before. And by the end of the weekend, it was like a family reunion. I think it's one of their high points every year. And from my point of view, we at Painters and the general public are thankful that they finally came together. And I think it kind of influences their work, too. So this, is a, this was a solid piece of Honduras mahogany. And what I do is first I draw the two dolphins in any position I want. And then I just freehand, I just draw a connecting line. So then I sculpt out the dolphins and extract all the wood in between that's not part of the form. But there is even more to painters at painters. There is education, a gentle education, a presentation of reminiscences with Raymond Chow, and popular workshops with artists such as Grant Lear and Nixie Barton. One show, Grant was really into yellow, and uh, he did the whole show in the studio, shipped the work, we didn't see it for a while, went to the show, and he, and he said, Oh my God, I used a lot of yellow. But you never see the paintings all together until you actually get and see them hung. It was too much yellow. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'm, I don't use a brush, right? I use my hands. This is my brush. Yeah. I ensure my hands. It all needs to get a definition, so it's really, it jumps out three-dimensional. This wants to pop forward. This area needs something. Among the visitors are high school art students, talking here with Ted Harrison. 
this guy is a hider. He's wearing the hider hat oh. and he's wearing a hider cloak. So it's um, not you? No, that's not me. <laughs> But uh, he's looking over the street and then there are the animals. I, go, I try to keep it simple as possible. You do get an artist block, but I tell you what I do. I walk around during the day in a semi-state of bliss, thinking up paintings. And when I go to bed, I lie thinking them up. So usually I just draw on the ideas I've had while half asleep. When you dream, wrote author-psychiatrist Robert Coles, you are very close to the artist in you. That's what Ted Harrison reminded us, and that's what the Saturna Island artist Anne Popperwell suggests. Popperwell finds her inspiration in dreamlike perceptions of sky, flowers, and the sea. What moves me to paint are these moments of great beauty, a transformative moment. It's a moment right before um, the wave goes crashing into the shore. And in that moment, it's possible to see the past, the wave building up, the present, the wave about to break, and the future, which is the wave crashing into the shore. When Bob Wright created Painters and Painters in the mid-1990s, a handful of artists were invited. Now, 30 or more, chosen by their peers, are in residence for the weekend, and even more are eager to come for what they call a unique experience. There's nothing like this anywhere else in the world. It's just amazing, and it goes on every year. I get to my age, I think maybe I should be slowing down. <laughs> but this is sort of starts everything going again. I was in at number one, and uh, I hope to do a few more, you know, if uh, fate permits me to plug along. And so, three magical days come to an end. In this Vancouver Island resort, where film stars once came to fish for Thai salmon, you can find artists doing what they're admired for, experimenting, reinventing themselves. It is an extraordinary experience for artists to be freed for a few days from their isolation to connect with each other and with their audience. It's Bob Wright and the Oak Bay Marine Group's gift to the British Columbia visual arts community. We say, hey, if you're an art student or you're an artist that eventually wants, wants to be at Painters of Painters, by all means come. If you're somebody that enjoys art, come anyways. You can do it for virtually free. We don't have a, a ticket taker at the front gate, and they're coming in droves. Pick a pencil and circle the last weekend in May.